Over the years, scientists have been warning the public about the dangers of dihydrogen monoxide, which kills thousands of people every year. For example, this 2006 flyer published on the Stanford website straight up calls for a ban on the substance. Here it lists some of the most alarming facts about the colorless, tasteless, and odorless chemical. Also known as hydroxyl acid, it's a major component in acid rain and contributes to the greenhouse effect. It accelerates the corrosion and rusting of certain metals and has even been found in the excised tumors of cancer patients. It may cause severe burns and prolonged exposure to its solid form can cause severe tissue damage. Despite all these dangers, people all over the world transport and consume this chemical. And when people become addicted to it, DHMO withdrawal means certain death. However, many sweep all these issues under the rug because of the compound's usefulness in research, civil, military, and industrial purposes. They use it in nuclear power plants and it's regularly used as an industrial coolant and solvent. And in agriculture, they use it to distribute pesticides. Even today, companies regularly dump excess DHMO directly into streams, rivers, lakes, and the ocean. In fact, DHMO has been found in every stream, river, lake, or ocean that we've ever tested. You may recognize DHMO from its common name, water, or another chemical name that it has, H2O. Turns out there's no single correct name for every chemical compound. People have been making dihydrogen monoxide parodies since April Fools in 1983 when the Durand Express, a newspaper in Durand, Michigan, <laughs> said that dihydrogen oxide had been found in the city's water pipes. As far as parodies go, I really like this one because it's all technically true and it supports scientific literacy. It leans into chemophobia, or people's fear of chemicals, and it shows that exaggerated scientific analysis can be misused as a warrantless fear-mongering tactic.